Patriots Point Flight Academy. In today's video, we'll be talking about navigation and direction. I'd like to start with a question. Has anyone ever told you to never eat soggy waffles? That's a great way to remember the cardinal directions. The cardinal directions are north, east, south, and west. So we have never eat soggy waffles. Now in navigation, it's important to be precise. So when you're reading a heading or communicating a heading, you don't use the cardinal directions, but you use degrees. On a navigational compass, north is zero degrees. If you go down to a horizontal, we have east is 90 degrees. All the way at the bottom, south is 180, and west is 270. Now let me ask you another question. How many degrees are in a circle? That's right, 360. So north is both 0 degrees and 360 degrees. Now that's important. If you wanted someone to go in this direction, a northwest direction, you would be counting down from 360 rather than counting up from 0 and going all the way around. talked about direction and degrees. Let's pretend that you're an air traffic controller stationed on the USS Yorktown. Your task is to direct an aircraft from the USS Yorktown to Henderson Airfield along this flight path. As I just mentioned, north is represented by zero and 360 degrees. So the first thing we need to do is pull out our protractor and orient 360 degrees or north to the top of the compass. From there, we want to take our protractor and we want to center it over our departure point. Now all we have to do is stretch out our protractor to our point of arrival and take our heading. As you can see here, this is a heading of 299 degrees. Now, if you've watched our communication video, you already know that when communicating a heading, you say each individual number rather than the whole thing. So if you were to communicate this heading, you would say this is a heading of 299 rather than 299. This reduces confusion. Make sure to check out some of our other instructional videos. 